कृष्णाय वासुदेवाय देवकी नंदनाय चोपकुमाराय गोविंदाय नमो नम एज वन श्लोका विच ग्लोरिफाइंग द होल गुरु परंपरा and all the acharyas and all the lords and everything so i will chant the pankha waha rakh do ye pankha vande ham shri guru ho vande ham shri guru shri yuta pad kamalam shri guru vaishnavam cha श्री रूपम सागर जात सह गणारुनाथीव साइत सवधूत परिजना सहित श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्री राधा कृष्ण पादान सहगण ललिता श्री विशाखान्ता ओम ज्ञानतिरंध से जन शलाकया चक्षुर मिलित तस्म श्री गुरव नम वाचाकूप्य कृपा सिद्धूप्य
महाप्रसादे गोविंदे नामो ब्राह्मणि वैष्णवे स्वल्प पुण्यवताम राजन विश्वासो नहीं वजायते हरे कृष्णो हरे कृष्णो 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे we remember that lady who was telling us to spread her sari in front of Shantanar Singh that is a sign of surrender so our Lord Dhoranga has taught a simple way of surrender if we can't surrender everything then at least we should raise our hands <laughs> at least that is a sign of surrender please raise your hands and chant Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna This is the 500th year of Lord Gauranga coming to Puri and all of you are not chanting so softly. You chant loudly so that Gauranga should hear. Please chant loudly. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Nitya. So that is how we should chant. Please chant. Nitya Nanda. Now he is little happy. Little happy. To make him more happy, we have to chant the name of Gauranga. <laughs> then Nityananda is giving us all protection. If anybody chants the name of Gauranga, Nityananda will never forget that person. So let us chant. Wow. What is that vow? 
then after going back from Puri, we will become serious in attaining Him. We will become serious in spiritual life. That is the purpose of coming to the holy place, to make us serious. Just today I posted one quotation. I was yesterday, I was feeling a very strong nature of this human life, impermanence. So like they say, chant while you can. <laughs> chant while you can. Means the Lord has given us this healthy body and we have the chance now to approach Him. But we don't know when, how long this body is going to be with us. It's highly, highly flickering. This human life is highly temporary. Highly temporary. Any time anything can happen. One moment we, we, will, we will no longer be here, we will be somewhere else. In one moment, Everything can be over. So it is such an emergency, a spiritual life emergency. Because Kamala Jala Dala Jeevana Talapana Bhajahu Hari Prada Niti Devi. So like a drop of water on the lotus leaf, very, very flickering. Anytime the water can slip and drop. Anytime. Anything can happen. So, uh, we have to become very serious. Uh, this human life the Lord has given us to come to His Dham, to vibrate His name. Krishna, Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati used to say, Krishna, Dham Seva, Krishna, Naam Seva, and Krishna Kam Seva. There are three kinds of service you can do to Krishna. First, you come to the holy place, and in the holy place, you chant His name. Krishna Dham Seva, then comes Krishna Naam Seva. You chant his name in the holy place to chant Krishna's name is 10 million times more powerful than to chant in Riga or in Delhi or in Florida. Anywhere you chant, but in the Dham it is thousands of times more potency, unlimited times actually. So, uh, there are three powerful processes. One is to chant in front of the deities, one is to chant in front of Tulsi, and one is to chant in the Dham, Holy Place. All these three things are very powerful. If you <coughs> chant in front of the deity, if you chant in front of Tulsi, and if you chant in the Holy Place. So here we are doing all three. We are doing all three. So we are very fortunate. In fact, I was thinking yesterday that uh, you know I also want to take a kind of Kshetra Sanyas. <laughs> the Radha Pandit took Kshetra Sanyas. He's, he he's took a Sanyas that he will never leave Puri. Jagannath Puri. He will not put a step outside of Puri because to worship Toda Gopinath. So I was also feeling that uh, maybe next life I will come to preach but this life I want to die in the Dham. <laughs> I want to have my last breath in the Dham. So, never leave the dham. But maybe for the next 10 years till I have got some energy. I am 40 now, 38. Instead of 50 I will travel. And after 50 I will stay in the dham. In the holy place. Because, the thing is, whatever spiritual practice you do in your life, but if you die outside the holy place, then it's a little bit lost. Yes, there is no... Sir, I discussed yesterday. Yes. Yes, so I mean, uh, Calcutta is also a holy place, like I said. The most people are aware of that. Yeah. So, uh, Bhajan Karle, Sadhan Karle, our beloved Srila Prabhupada, Mataji's Gurudev, hmm. Srila Prabhupada, he set the ideal example to the world that any time he used to become sick, he used to tell his friends, uh, his, his disciples, take me to Vrindavan. Take me to Vrindavan. The disciples were taking him to a hospital in the American US. Prabhupada said, I don't want these injections. If I die, I don't want to see the face of the doctor. <laughs> I want to see the face of Krishna. 
Because if I die in the hospital, my next life, I, you know, if we die in the hospital, if the hospital consciousness, next life will become an insect in that hospital. <laughs> it is said in the Bhagavad Gita, Yam Yam Bhapi Smarana Bhavam Tejetyante Kale. Whatever you think at the time of death, you will become that. The, our consciousness at the time of death will determine our next life. So it's very important we should die in a spiritual consciousness. And there are many people in India, they are teaching the art of living nowadays. Art of living. It's become a very famous course. But actually, the Bhagavad Gita teaches the art of dying. <laughs> that is the real art. The whole life is an exam. And the whole life is a preparation for the exam of death. So, uh, coming to the holy place is a very big preparation because the Lord will never forget that we have come to His holy place. In wherever we are, uh, in old age, but the Lord will never forget, He will remember uh, uh, that we came to His holy place. So, in fact, it is said in Jagannath Puri, you know, in Jagannath Puri, who is worshipable? Who is worshipable in Puri? The donkeys. <laughs> you know donkeys? Uh, in Latvia language? Donkey. Ass, ass is that. Uh, donkeys. Four legged. I, I, I'm not sure whether they have donkeys. There are some. In Latvia? No, no, in Puri. Oh, maybe they don't have in their country. No, I don't think. Yes, yes, they may not have seen. But in Puri, they are the like the four-legged animals, mammals. So, even Jagannath Puri, Aho tat shetra mahatmyam gandapo bi chadur bujaha. Sanatan Goswami, he says that, see the glories of Puri, even the donkeys become Vishnu Dutas. They get four hands. Gandapo bi chadur bujaha. Gada, gada hai na, gada. उसको भी चार हाथ मिल जाते हैं पूरी में शंक चक्र गदा और पर सीधे यत्र प्रवेश मात्र है ना न कश्या भी पुनर्भव हाँ सॉरी मस्तिष्क जाते हैं ये by entering into Puri the eighty miles of Puri whether you come by aeroplane or whether you come by train or whether you come by bus enter into जगन्नाथ Puri then you have no more rebirth, no more death, no more disease, no more old age. It's all gone. I mean, this will be your last life in this material world. So, Sparshana Tadhyavate Shetram. By touching this holy land of Puri, Nrina Mukti Pradayakam, one gets liberation. That is why we should try to, when we walk to a holy place, we should not try to wear shoes. Because when we don't wear shoes, we are touching the holy land of Puri. Now, when we touch, our body touches this holy land of Puri, then we become, we get liberation, mukti. So that is why we go on parikrama, we leave the shoes in the car or wherever, and then we walk with bare feet, uh, touching the dham. Charte sakshat para brahma bhati dharva lilaya in Puri, Lord Jagannath comes out and uh, walks around in Puri himself. Uh, Jagannath is walking around. There are many pastimes of Jagannath going around Puri and he eating in the home of some of his devotees, him and Baladev. And I can explain some other time. There are so many Leelas about Jagannath going around Puri. So here he is uh, performing his eternal Leela. Api Janma Shatai Sagrai Durita Chara Tattvaraha Shetra Svin Sangha Matre Na Jayate Vishnu Sama. What a beautiful verse. Who can come to Puri, you know that? Who can come to Puri? One who has done lot of tapasya for last 100 lives. Api Janma Shatai Sagrai. So all of you, we are in Puri, it is not by chance not uh, like some uh, it is because we have accumulated we have 
then a lot of piety and a lot of austerity in our previous lives. That is the chance when we uh, get to come to Puri. Durita uh, Chara Tatparaha. And Chetra is in Sangha Matrena. Any moment we contact this holy land of Puri, Sangha Matrena, immediately we become just like Vishnu. Vishnu Savam, we get the same opulence as the Lord. Uh, Lord says that Sabha uh, Purite, uh, what is that verse in the Chaitanya Bhagavad He says, um, uh, Je Hato Vaise Te Amara Swam. Je Purite Vaise Se Amara Swam. Jagannath says, The words who come to Puri, those who reside in Puri, they become equal to me. They become equal to me. We cannot become equal to God in quantity. We are equal to God in quality. God is also Satchitananda. We are also Satchitananda. But God is infinite Satchitananda. We are minute Satchitananda. We are small, infinite, simple parts. Our soul, our soul is also Satchitananda. The soul has the same quality as God. But in quantity it is different. This is known as Achintya Bheda Bhed Tattva. This Tattva is given by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Gauranga Mahaprabhu. He has consolidated all philosophies into one philosophy. The highest of all philosophies that is known as Achintya Bheda Bhed Tattva. Bheda Bhed means what? I am one with God in quality. But I am different from God in quantity. That is known as I am oneness as well as difference. Shankaracharya stresses oneness and Ramanujacharya stresses difference. And Lord Gauranga gave both. He amalgamated all the philosophies and he said that we are same with God in quality. But we are difference in quantity. So in that way, uh, this is the truth we have to come. Uh, in Shiva Purana it is said that those who come to Jagannath Puri uh, they have to attain seven means. Remembrance of the Lord in Puri, one will automatically remember the Lord. Like I was saying, even if you sleep in Puri, you will get Samadhi. Fruit of Samadhi. Even if you talk in Puri, you will offer prayers. So automatically you remember the Lord. If you come in Puri, you get Mahaprasadam eating. Uh, everybody, nobody lives without eating. So even our eating becomes holy, spiritual. And third is the place of pilgrimage, Tirtha Shetra, Mahatirtha. You get the advantage of coming. And the fourth is Nama Sankirtan, the Sankirtan. Process is going on in Puri every day. The Lord is dancing on the grand road with the Sankirtan parties. We can't see his eternal pastimes. He's dancing on the beach in the night, in the day. Daytime he's dancing. And Gundicha Agambira. And uh, his pastimes are going on. Fifth is residence in Puri. Even if you reside for two days, three days, you will get much more than what yogis get for millions of years meditating in the Himalayas. We attain by staying for only few days in Puri. And Darshana, we see the preferable Kundari Kaksh. We see the lotus eyed, wide eyed Lord. Uh, and ultimately, we conquer over death. By coming to Puri, we conquer over death. Because wherever we die, the Lord, we will go to the Lord. It is said in Puri, Puri te yamadanda nahi adi. Even if the most sinful person comes in Puri and stays, from that day onwards, Yamaraj, all the sinful reactions which are written by Yamaraj in his diary, everything is washed off. Our books become empty. We get a new life. We get a chance to start a new life. All our sins get washed off. So it is very important that when we go back from Puri, what we do? It's very important. We have to uh, become more interested, more attracted to the Lord uh, and uh, deepen our contact, our uh, remembrance of the Lord outside of Puri. In, uh, in Vrindavan, if you want to attain Krishna, you have to take the dust, the Brajaduli, and put it on your body. 
the Vrindavan Dhuli because Krishna has walked there. In Navadri, if you want to attain Krishna, Mayapur, you have to do Nava Sankirtan. You have to do chanting. But in Puri, if you want to attain Krishna, what do you have to do? Puri is the most simple <laughs> of all the three dhams. In Vrindavan, you have to make an effort to pick up the dust. In Navdip, you have to make an effort to do Kirtan. But in Puri, you have to just eat. <laughs> Mahaprasad. In Puri, you attain by eating Mahaprasad. You attain the supreme goal of life. Just by eating. So Puri is a very, very merciful place. Jagannath is the most merciful. You will not believe that Jagannath is accepting service sometimes from those who are eating fish and meat. And they are serving, sometimes they serve Jagannath. So you can imagine how merciful he is, he is accepting service even from the most fallen. In no other temple in the world, in no other place can these, the people who are non-vegetarians can touch the Lord, it is not possible. But in Puri, the Lord is so merciful. He is willingly. I mean, He is accepting whatever anyone is giving. He is known as Patita Bhava in Puri. He is very, very merciful. Uh, it's Pushottam Dham, Shri Shetra. It is known as Shri Shetra because Radha Rani, uh, Srimati Radha is known as Shri, uh, Lakshmi is also known as Shri. So, from Radha comes Satyabhama and from Satyabhama comes Mahalakshmi and from Mahalakshmi comes uh, Mahamaya, Parvati and from Parvati comes Durga, Ambika, Chandika, Devi, Kali all the demigoddesses in this world they are coming from Radha from Radha is coming Satyabhama, the queens in Dwarka from them there comes the uh, Mahalakshmi in Vaikuntha from Mahalakshmi is coming Parvati, Mahamaya. From Parvati is coming Durga, Kambika, Chandika, Kali, all the demigods. So originally they are coming from Radha. Just like from Krishna comes Balaram, from Balaram comes Sankarshan, Aniruddha, Pradyumna, Vasudev. From that comes Mahavishnu, from Garvadakshaya, Vishnu, then comes Shirodakshaya, Vishnu, then comes Ananta, Shesha, Sheshnath, then comes all the avatar, ten avatar, dash avatar, the twenty-five avatar. Like that everyone is coming from Krishna, from Radha. So, Jagannath Puri is the dham of Radha, Madhuryas, because Radha Rani has manifested Puri. You know why Radha Rani has manifested Puri? Radha Rani, she manifested Navadvip for uh, meeting, a uh, union. Because what happened in Vrindavan, Radha Rani had a lot of competition. Means Krishna was coming to meet her, but on the way some gopi would take Krishna away. And Krishna would spend some part of the night with that gopi and then Krishna would come. So Radha Rani said, I want to take Krishna to a place where only him and me are there. So she created Navadvip. She created the nine islands. It is known as Navavrindavan. Navadvip, another name is? Nama Vrindavan, New Vrindavan. She created there, there she made it very beautiful. But after creating Navadvip, she was thinking, I, the happiness of union of Krishna is there, but there is even more happiness in separation. In separation. When you, meet some, when you meet someone after being away from them, then the meeting is more sweeter, right? It's more sweeter. If you are always with somebody, then sometimes you tend to formality. You know, sometimes you tend to take it very... Okay, okay, he's always with me, so it's okay. But when you are away from somebody and then when you meet, then it becomes... Similarly, Jagannath Puri is uh, rather than he manifested to relish Vipralamba Bhav, to taste, to, to, to relish the mood of separation. Uh, to... That is why Gauranga Mahaprabhu did not stay in Vrindavan, he stayed in Puri. He went to Vrindavan for two months and he had darshan and he came back to Puri because he wanted to feel the feeling of how it is to remain away from Krishna. Separation. 
That moon he wanted to relish. Lord Gauranga Mahaprabhu. The mood of separation is very high. In, in Bhakti Yoga it is the highest mood. Because when you are, you love someone very much and you meet them and then you get separated from them, then you remember them more. When you are with the person, you may sometimes forget that person, but when you are away, you write letters, you send emails, and you always think of that person. So, separation. So, Puri is the dham of uh, Vitralamba, Radha Prem, Radha Nakya Mahabhav. Radha Rani is ultimate Mahabhav of separation. is manifested in Puri and it is relished by Gauranga Mahaprabhu. He took the role of a sannyasi. He became a sannyasi. He was begging for Radha Prem. He became sannyasi here in Puri for 24 years. He relished the Radha Prem. So, Puri's glories are unlimited and uh, unattainable by even the demigods. Uh, it is also known as Dasha Avatar Shetra because when you see Jagannath, you get the fruit of seeing all the Dasha Avatar. When you see Jagannath's face, you get the fruit of seeing all the ten incarnations of, of Vishnu. Automatically you get the fruit. Puri is known as Krandana Shetra, Krandana. Because Jagannath is always crying. And Gauranga is also crying for, he is in, in the mood of uh, Radha. Uh, he is in the mood of Radha crying for Krishna, Gauranga. And Jagannath is in Krishna crying for Radha. Both are crying. Both gods are crying for each other. So that is why Puri is known as Krandana Shetra. You know? Gaur Gobind Maharaj used to say, you know, crying for God nourishes the love of God. Even Prabhupada used to say, tears. Uh, when they are coming from the heart, then they nourish our love for the Lord. And those whose hearts is soft, they can cry for the Lord. If our heart is hard, hard, and tears will not come after, they will come after a long time. Puri is known as Bhauma Vaikuntha or Sakshat Vaikuntha because uh, all the Vishnu Tattvas are present in Puri and uh, um, uh, Jagannath Temple uh, is Bhauma Vaikuntha because Neil Madhav, four-handed form, he was present before Jagannath came here. Neil Madhav was worshipped here in Puri. So Puri's name is Bhauma Vaikuntha even before Jagannath. No, he has four hands. Neil Madhava? Yes. Neil Madhava is bluish, uh, like emerald, ruby, bluish complexion, his four arms. And even now you can see a Neil Madhava DT, it's around 150 kilometers from Puri, that is a DT. Is it Kantak? Uh, Nayagar district, Kantilo. Kantilo, Kantilo. In Nayagar district. That is the DT of Neil Madhava established by Gal Madhav. There was one king, when Indra went to Brahma Loka to call Brahma for the Pran Pratishta. He, Brahma's Kirtan was going on in his hall. Brahma said to him, you wait for a few minutes. So a few minutes Indra Dhyumna waited and in the earth lakhs of years passed. Thousands of years passed. So when he came back, the Jagannath temple was all covered with sand, the temple he had built. And there was another king, Gal Madhav, who found the temple while riding on a horse. He, his horse fell down and he struck the top of the temple. So he excavated the temple and he thought that the temple is the temple for Neil Madhav. So he worshipped one deity of Neil Madhav, 400 form and he established that in his temple. But he did not know that Neil Madhav has already disappeared for 50 years of Brahma. Neil Madhav is never going to come back. So then when Brahma came, that Neil Madhav was shifted to Kantilo. So, so in that way, is known as Bhama Vaikuntha. Puri is known as Drishinga Shetra because I explained to you that when Brahma was doing the fire sacrifice of Pran Pratishtha of Jagannath, Nirshinga, Ugra Narsinga came from the fire. Nirshinga they manifested. That Ugra Narsinga is still there on the backside, the Gundicha temple, but very few devotees. But the Shanta Narsinga one can have a darshan. Puri is known as Bhu Swarga according to like uh, Kapurji was mentioning, it's just like heaven. Swarga. So Puri is known as Bhu Swarga. It's like a heaven on earth. Srila Prabhupada used to use the word heaven on earth. So when Puri is like that. It's uh, transcendental. It's even rarely attained by demigods. Demigods they fly in the sky and they shower flowers. On those who come to Puri, even the demigods they want to come here. 
Puri. And uh, it's known as Puri. Puri means the Lord's house. Purusha. It comes from Pu. Pu comes from Purusha. Purusha means the supreme uh, controller. Purusha. Controller. Supreme enjoyer. So Pu comes from Purusha. He controls everything. And Purna means absolute. Complete. So Puri. Pu word comes from Purna, Purusha, like that, different names. So, another name of Puri is Shankashetra. Because Puri is very cooling. Anybody is coming to Puri feels very, from the three miseries, Adi Bhautik, Adhyatmik and Adi Daivik. Three miseries, you know. You know about the three miseries? Durga has Trishul, you know. Trishul, three. So why he, she has three shoes? Because there are three miseries in this world. One is Adi Bhautik Klesh. Adi Bhautik means the problem which uh, others are causing us. Other people, they cause a lot of problems. Our boss says, okay, job is over, unemployment. So problem, then other people, they talk bad language to us, they insult us. That is a misery which is given by other people. Mosquitoes come and bite us and we get malaria. Uh, that is known as Ad, Adi Bhautik Klesh. Which, which other living entities give us a pro pain, problem. That is known as Adi Bhautik. Then there is place known as Adhyatmic Klesh. Adhyatmic suffering means our mind is causing, our own body is causing us problems. People, they are, you know, go into depression and uh, some people commit suicide. Their mind is causing them to end their life. It's the greatest suffering. So that is called Adhyatmic Klesh. And the third kind of suffering is Adi Dhaivik Klesh. Means if our external men or people are not causing us problem, our mind is not, then the demigods cause us problem. <laughs> they, they make earthquakes. These earthquakes are Adi Dhaivik. And Indra gives too much rain, there are floods and crops are destroyed, there is no water, there is drought. Uh, Adi Daivik Klesh. So there are many kind of sufferings in this world. It's very difficult to get out of them. And in, like you see in Haiti, you know, it was so such a painful thing, this country. You know, people were well to do, they were doing well, they were just sitting in their house and suddenly the earthquake came and they are dead. The next moment they are dead. Nobody knew that their death is coming. So it's Adi Adi Daivi Klesh. So these three kinds of miseries are always troubling us. So to escape from these three miseries, we have to come to Puri. This Puri is a Shankha Shetra. Shankha means a conch. So you know conch, you what do you use the conch for? Do you know that? We fill water in the conch and do the Abhishek, do the bathing of the Lord, you know, cooling. It cools the Lord. Similarly, anybody who comes to Puri, he becomes sheltered from the three miseries of material existence. That is why Advaita Acharya's hand has three cones. It's a triangle in his hand. Uh, Advaita Acharya. Uh, that uh, he delivers us from the three miseries. And just like Puri. So Puri is also known as Shankashetra. It is known as Jagannath Puri because Jagannath, Lord Krishna never leaves Puri. That's why it's also known as Jagannath Puri. Then it is known as Sri Shetra. Then it is known as Shetra Dhuipa because this ocean uh, is manifested as milk ocean, salt water ocean, different uh, ways of seeing this ocean. So in that way Puri has many different names and uh, this is a little bit about Jagannath Puri. Tomorrow I will tell you about the Jagannath temple when we go there, the archaeological and the historic, historical meaning of the Jagannath temple, especially the, the new chakra on the top of the temple is very, very significant importance to us. Because the chakra is all powerful, it is the abode of all the incarnations. And just by seeing the chakra, one gets the fruit of seeing Jagannath. Uh, so, uh, Jagannath is known as Daru Brahma because he is carved from wood. He has chosen wood in Puri. There are nine kinds of things where you can make deities. Wood, metal, glass, earth, jewels, paper, 
mind, air. You can make deities from nine kinds of objects. Out of the wood is one. So here Jagannath is made from wood. Daru Brahma. From wood from the neem tree. So he has purified the trees. The, the species of trees. Tree, you know, after aquatics comes the tree species. Aquatics is the lowest in the 8.4 million species of life. After aquatics comes trees. So trees are very having very low consciousness. Anybody who cuts a tree doesn't cause so much pain. Like when, when we cut the human being. Because the nervous system is less developed in the tree. But uh, the Lord wanted to deliver the tree species. So he chose the trees. Uh, and actually why, you know why Jagannath has come from the tree? Uh, because one time Lord was flying on the top of Puri on Garuda and one of his hair, it fell down and it became the tree, neem tree. From his hair, the tree has come. That is why Lord Jagannath is made from the neem tree because the tree is the hair of the Lord. It's a part of the hair of the Lord. So, that, so he chose, he is known as Daru Brahma because he is from wood. And, but he is not wood, though he is coming from the tree, but he is not uh, wood, he is actually the Supreme Lord. Mm. I mean, there was one person, uh, he was a big atheistic person. He heard that coming to Puri by seeing Jagannath, one will get Mukti. So he said, I cannot believe it. By after seeing Jagannath, how can I get liberation so quickly? Jagannath is only wood. How will I get liberation just by seeing him? So he had no faith. So when he entered into Puri, Lord Jagannath refused to open his gates. <laughs> this happened only 200 years ago. The gates of the temple were not opening only. The, the, all the pujaris were, <laughs> like they were trying their best to open for three days, four days, the gates were not opening. And then everybody was worried, what is happening? Then suddenly Jagannath spoke from the sky. He said, one unqualified person has entered into Puri. He has no faith in me. <laughs> that is why I don't want to show myself to anyone. Immediately when this fellow heard it, oh, he started beating his head. He came in the front of the gate. He fell down. He said, please Jagannath, please forgive me. I am very sorry. I thought you were only wood. But Jagannath did not open the temple, so he fasted outside the temple for three days. And the third day when he was about to die, the doors became open. <laughs> Jagannath forgave him. Uh, and he could see Jagannath. So, Daru Rupe Krishna Prakata Samprati Darshana Snanu Kare Jivena Mukti To give uh, deliverance to all the living entities, the Lord has manifested here as uh, Jagannath and uh, Jagannath uh, has unlimited, I mean, pastimes. So he has 48 kinds of dresses, including Suna Vesh, the Golden Vesh, the Kaliya Daman Vesh, Krishna Balaram Vesh, Raj Rajeshwar Vesh, Lakshmi Narsingha Vesh, and Bada Shringar Vesh in the night. Every night they make Jagannath dress in Bada Shringar Vesh. You know why Bada Shringar at 11 o'clock? They, they give him, uh, there are six offerings in the day to Jagannath. And uh, in the night, they give the Bada Shringar bhog and then they dress him in Bada Shringar. Because Jagannath goes out to perform his Rasa dance every day. Even the Rasa Lila is going on in Puri also every day. That is why in the morning when Jagannath comes back from the Rasa dance at 5 o'clock, they sing Gita Govinda. At 5 a.m. In the morning, in the Mangala, yeah, around 5, 5.30. They, they don't sing it at night? No, they put a red cloth on Jagannath which is uh, imprinted by Gita Govinda's verses and uh, Ashtapadi, it is known as Ashtapadi, uh, Gita Govinda by Jayadev Goswami and Jayadev Goswami was sent to, to Puri from Maya on Navdeep Champahati to recite his prayers for Jagannath. So in that way Jagannath is very opulent here and as well as he is very Madhurya, he is uh, uh, there are many kinds of festivals going on in Puri continuously every day, every month. 
at the highest of all festivals is the Gundicha Yatra. The Ratha Yatra, the another name for Ratha Yatra is actually Gundicha Yatra. Gundicha Ratha Yatra, the Mahasala Vurdhana Bhakta Vatsala Vandetva Gundicha Ratha Vandana. The greatest mercy he is showing to all living entities is that he is coming out of his temple to give his darshan to everyone. And everyone is getting a chance to pull the cart. To pull the cart of Jagannath is a very great opportunity because you know who has pulled the cart of Jagannath? The gopis. Radha Rani, it is not an ordinary Leela. When Radha Rani met Krishna in Kurukshetra, Radha Rani put Krishna in a chariot in his inner heart. And she made a chariot in her heart and she was pulling Krishna. It's a, it's a very internal Leela. Tiratriyatra. So we are actually not qualified to pull that cart of the Lord to take him to Vrindavan, but by the mercy of Jagannath, everybody gets a chance to do that. Dina Hina Maha Nicha Dayatri Kritavanasa. The most fallen, the most sinful, the most abominable people in this world, to them Jagannath is very merciful. Dayatri Kritavanasa. Nitya Nutana Mahatmya Darshim Chaitanya Vallava And Lord Gauranga used to go every day to Gopal Vallabho in the morning to have the name of Jagannath And Jagannath is Chaitanya Vallava That is another name for Jagannath So thank you very much, I will end today, we are already late And thank you for spending the whole day Krishna consciousness. I hope you